So, so I was assigned chapter 20, problem 51. And um, problem 51 reads that there, for three, for the three way bulb, 50 watts, 100 watts, and 150 watts discussed in conceptual example 11, find the resistance of each of the two filaments. Assume the wattage ratings are not limited by significant figures and ignore any heating effects on the resistances. So um, the problem wants us to refer to conceptual example 11 and um, I can find that for you guys, conceptual example 11. So here's the problem and here's the drawing that goes along with um, the problem. Um, you see that there's 50 watt filament and 100 watt filament and um, the filaments can be turned on at a time or both together in parallel. So um, one thing that's given in this example that isn't given in the problem is that um, they're using a 120 volt socket. So that's very important for the problem. So um, we know that P1 is 50 watts, P2 is 100 watts, and P3 is 150 watts. And then we also know that our voltage is 120 volts. So um, they want us to find the resistance of each of the two filaments. So the equation that I'm going to use is R equals V squared over P. And that's equation 20.6 that's in your book. Um, and that can be found right here. P equals V squared over R. And um, this um, then is manipulated into R equals V squared over P. So um, that's important. Um, we are taking the um, formula back a little bit to a different um, section, but it applies for the whole chapter. So in order to find the resistance for the 50 watt, we do V squared over P. So our V is 120.0 volts, and we square that over 50 watts. And that gives us 288 ohms. So we do the same thing for um, P2. So our 100 equals V squared over P, which is 120 volts squared over 100 watts. Don't forget to square the 120 volts. And that gives us 144 ohms. So there you are. There are your re resistances of each of the two filaments. It's a pretty um, good problem to help you understand um, how to find resistance using um, your power as well as your voltage. Because sometimes you have to use um, different formulas, but this one allows you to really understand it. Thank you.